Hello friends, welcome to Spark SQL video tutorials. Previous session we covered how to create a database and how to use a database in Spark SQL like normal database in uh, Databricks community edition. The same way today I am going to cover how to create a table in Databricks community edition. So completely on uh, Spark cluster. So Spark cluster and we will create a tables in community edition and we will use this for different types of tables delta lake table and normal hive table and then spark sql table then we will try to create a different types of data files like a csv pocket oasi and other types of tables where you can use that so before creating a table so last session i covered uh, how to create a database where we can use in community edition or in real spark scenarios so creating a databases, then using those databases. Uh, primarily when you are creating databases here, so you can specify comments and so the team like who are going to use and any newcomers, so they will get the details about that. So when they describe the database, they will get a complete information on that. The same way, today what we will do, we will start with a create table. So before creating a table, before creating a table in Spark SQL, so first we will understand the data types okay so why because so spark pyspark data types then spark sql data types and recently they are supporting with native data types, native sql data types as well so so in this notebook i have a given overview on different types of data types which supported by spark same data type which you can use for PySpark or like while creating a data frame or while creating a table you can use these data types so when when specific to numeric so spark is supporting these all our data types numeric data types and their limitations you can see so I have referred standard document where they have already given complete overview on this by data type short type integer type long type float double and decimal these all are numeric data types okay which you can use a PySpark data frame or sql table it may be delta lake table or hive table or standard spark table same thing for string so string normally we will use string data type and other than string vacar and char type so these two also they are supporting vacar and char also we can use that then other types related to binary boolean and complex data types date timestamp those also we can use this binary boolean date and timestamp data types then complex so when it comes to complex when you are creating any uh, like reading data from json and you want to store the data in pyspark or table or data frame so spark also with support for that array type map type struct type and struct field so primarily struct type struct field will be using frequently using in data frames and array type and map type when you are working with the semi structured data complex data types so there you can use this so when you compare with the PySpark and sql data type so i have given the list here there you can see this PySpark side same thing sql side so when you are creating a sql table we can use this list when you are creating a PySpark data frame you can use this so let's create one table and we'll understand the background and SQL also providing few functions where you can convert a different uh, like when it comes to date a timestamp and when you are extracting date particular date so primarily dates when you're working with the dates different time zones different date formats you can use these functions okay two date two timestamp unix timestamp and two unix timestamp okay then there's a lot of sql side date related primarily ansi sql supporting and standard pyspark data types as well so when you are creating a table so when you are creating a table so directly we can create a table or we can go with creating a data frame from that data frame data we can create a table so first we will try to create a table so here first we will drop the table if exist if exist command we can use if table is available it will drop then create a table if not exist 
then this is a table name which I am creating and the columns you can see each column and data type separated by comma and I have created multiple data types so just have mentioned column names and data types just execute this then verify this so how to verify how to verify the DDL so spark is providing one command called show create table so show create table means will get DDL of this table okay there the default data bricks uh, 8x onwards default it will create Delta table earlier it, it will create a hive table now it is creating Delta table then if you want to change any format other than Delta you can change the format so just I'm inserting few records for integers for date for timestamp just I'm inserting few records and the same thing for boolean so this is the boolean data type there I'm inserting one one means true you can verify that so boolean data type will accept zero and one one means true zero means false there you can see this so we have inserted one so one means it will consider as a true timestamp date these are normal integers so let's start let's move to how to create a table and how many ways we can create a table and different types like file types where we can use in spark create table notebook so the default standard when when you, when you when you are looking for default standards so standards means when whenever you have a requirement for storing data in big data primarily delta lake or spark so spark is providing different options and different flexibility based on your requirement you can use those like normal table partition table and with partition with the bucketing so bucketing means where if you have a huge data transaction data so if you want to if you are querying more and you want to filter those data with a better performance you can go with the partition by partition by and that partition again you can divide into number of buckets so that option is available which you can go with this this then you can specify the number of buckets so clustered by then you can specify the number of buckets then while creating a table you can specify using option using means where you can specify storage type maybe csv text oic jdbc pocket these delta so delta also is one of the type which you can specify this okay so then location is available so location when you are creating a table on particular external location default it will create a warehouse location you can go with the external location you can specify the comment and the table properties also is available key value pair data set or you can create a table from select query you can create a table from select query so what we will do we will create one data frame first we'll create one data frame so we'll read some csv file and on top of that using this data frame we'll create a table so in this location file store tables one of the file is available csv file i already uploaded that file and header just i'm taking a column names from this then infer schema and true so i'm going to create this data frame with the data types based on data that is infer schema sorry so this notebook created uh, the uh, type is sql so that's why it is not allowing we need to specify percentage python okay now it will create a data frame now you can verify this it's created column names and data types you can see this so if you want to display the data we can use a display function and the data frame so it's a python code just to specify percentage python so this notebook i created in sql so that's why i'm specifying python now data is available data is available so we can create a table directly from this data frame data frame write option then format so format you can go with the pocket or orc i'm going with the pocket then mode which you can go with the append or override i'm choosing append 
append means if data is available it will add override means if data is available it will delete and create that just simple then format pocket mode then next if you have any partitions you can go with the partition so partition partition by then specify the column name I'm going to create a partition based on this department number then save into particular location I will save this data into in this location EMP pocket okay and I will use overwrite if already available it will override that so specify the percentage Python so it will create one tape one pocket file in this location so this location we can use in SQL directly select start from pocket dot then that path so we can query this data we can query this data so now you, you are able to query this data in external pocket file so we can use as a statement okay create table as a select statement we can use and we can create a table so I will create one table create table then table name which I will create EMP part pocket file as so if you want to save as the same default file default table it will create a default table if you are going to create any specific format you can specify that you can specify using option using for example I want to create a CSV so you can specify CSV otherwise a default it will create a delta table so when you if you're not specifying using option in Databricks by default it will create delta table so that also we will see that select start from this table now we can see the data so if you want to see that if you want to know the DDL how it's created and the exact column names and data types we can go with the show create table so by default it will create a delta table so while creating you can specify option using so using if I want to create a CSV so I will create a new table CSV okay so I will select the data from existing then I'm going to create another table using option CSV now verify this table DDL verify this table DDL see it is CSV you can query this you can query this so you can see the data so this way we can create a table using select query or we can create our own tables using standard DDL standard DDL means so whenever you are starting a project so first we will decide how many tables is required for to store the source data staging tables temporary tables permanent tables warehouse tables so those tables you can use same spark or delta lake tables so here I'm going to create a table first time I will drop if table already exists then I will create a table so table name box boxes and the three columns all are integer using CSV type using CSV type so this way also we can create a table then while creating a table if you want to specify the compression so if source pocket and ORC will have a compression type where you can use that compression so that also we can use options so options where you can specify the compressions and create table if not exist so just I'm using this option it will try to create a table if not available okay if you're not using this option okay and if you're not dropping this table what will happen if you try to create a table it will throw error because it's already sorry so commenting it's already available you can see this okay so first we'll drop this table and here also you can mention if not exist so if you use if not exist what will happen 
whenever you are creating a table if table is available it will throw error so avoiding errors avoiding errors or exceptions you can use if not exist actually it is not created but it is ignored because if table is already available it will be ignored that's called not exist option then we drop this table and we recreate it now you can verify this table ddl show create a table which we mentioned compression option which we mentioned compression and the table using pocket so that also you can see options compression using pocket okay so then so if you want to create a partitions that also is possible you can specify the partition by column then bucketing so when you are going with the bucketing clustered by particular column then number of buckets into number of buckets you can specify this so that partition column will this partition column so whatever data is available in this data it will be divided into multiple columns then again sorry multiple uh, based on data multiple partitions then that data again it will be splitting into eight buckets so we are going to create eight buckets so that will be created eight buckets using as select star from table okay now you can verify this table ddl you can verify this table ddl show create table so we created partition by then bucketing also so partition by and eight buckets clustered by eight buckets so these are our available options so based on your requirement we can use normally partitions and uh, bucketing when we will choose if you have a huge data transaction data to improve the performance to improve the query performance then we can go with this then hive table so if you are if you want to create a hive table in spark that also is possible just you need to mention that using type hive then input on output format input on output CD, serialization deserialization so hive will prefer the serialization deserialization then you can create this table so just a table properties key value pair data set you can use this okay so key value pair data set which you can give and it will give information about that that is hive table so hive table means which we need to specify input on output format which is serializes deserialized data so spark will store serialized and deserialized data then if it, without any using type so default it will create delta table then other than this so we created csv we created delta we created hive we created pocket same thing we can go with oc avro other types also is available so these are multiple examples where we can create table and there is another table which i am going to create text file so text file when you are creating a text file we need to specify because when you are reading data right so when you are reading data delimiter we need to specify that so the row format because the whatever data is there in the text file the row format that fields are terminated by the delimiter we need to specify then only you can store the data in a proper format proper format so csv means default it will accept but if you are going with the text file you need to specify that and any other delimiters you can specify that so if you have any delimiter different delimiters maybe tab or any other delimiters pipe so that you can specify that then creating a table in external location so creating a table in external location means just you can specify this location so where it will be created in in this location in this location and spark is providing another option like option so like means if you have another table instead of going with the create as select star from table you can use like option so like option just another option so another option where just copy of another table like like means copy of another table so delta like does not support like operator only other than delta you can use that other than delta you can use that so if you have a table instead of using a create table as select query you can use like let's look at this so we are using here if you look at this i am going to create one student table then that table again i am using select star from student table again i am creating another copy just another table 
So instead of using as, you can go with like. You can go with like. So we'll use and we can create a table. So we can create a table means it should create this table. You can show the DDL create table and the table. So the table name you can see. So when you are copying this data, normally if you're not specifying any using type, what will happen? Default it will create a delta table. But whenever you are using like, whenever you are using like, delta like won't support. Okay. So for that reason, default whatever it is their copy of this, whatever copy of this, it is created. So if you create a table with the same delta, okay. So same table will create with delta, delta, then student underscore delta. delta so we will use like on top of this we will use like on top of this so like means same as existing copy create create means if you're not specifying using it will create same as source copy but here only it will create it's like similar to cloning similar to cloning so we'll use a delta like okay so this is the table we are going to create a table using that so when you are creating a like so it it is throwing that so like is not supported for delta table so but you don't need to specify anything any format but default it will take that existing format except delta except delta so this way we can go for creating a table in spark sql and different formats delta format hive pocket orc csv these are the formats which we can use that. So thank you for watching my videos.